Hey guys, Mr. Marcus here, FIFA World Cup Final, Netherlands versus Germany. One of the hardest matches I will ever have to play with the German national side. Of course, Netherlands in a new kit, Germany wearing of course their new kit as well. The World Cup Final, of course, Kiesling won't be playing, but as I said, if you missed the last match, in extra time, Schweinsteiger got a red card, so Tony Cruz will have to come in for bashing Schweinsteiger here and... It will be interesting to see if he can sort of stand up to the sort of hype that he has in playing in that midfield with Sami Khedira. Of course, with both teams having, actually, we'll both have a national anthem. But first, at the Estadio de Scorpio, we have Netherlands versus Germany in the World Cup final. And of course, we will see the World Cup. There it is. Beautiful, massive trophy that is the FIFA World Cup. So with that being said, of course, the teams will walk out. Van Persie, captain of Netherlands, and Philip Lam, still captain of Germany and of course this is a big game for Germany a big game for Netherlands Tim Krul is in goal for Netherlands which is a bit ridiculous but that being said here are the national anthems in the FIFA World Cup final So of course, Ron Voir of Aston Villa being at the centre back for um, set one of the centre backs for Netherlands. The other one is Matheson, Van der Veel, Blind, uh, Nigel de Jong, Schars, Schneider, Van der Vaart, Lenz, and Robin van Persie. So Mesut Ozil there, he will have a big task to play in this match. Of course, will of course Thomas Muller will as well. And there, I believe that's Raphael van der Vaart. Doesn't really look like him. Maybe he's had facial reconstructive surgery or something. I don't know. Anyway, that being said, the Germany squad lineup is more or less the same. Not really, not a lot has changed. Like, so the only real change which has been enforced, of course, is Cruz coming in for Schweinsteiger because of Bastian Schweinsteiger's red card in extra time against Italy. So Tim Krul, of course, playing for the Netherlands in the World Cup final. It's a bit of a big, big step for him, but. With that being said, it'll be interesting to see if he can hold back and, of course, keep a clean sheet in this final. So, of course, now let's kick off Nigel de Jong to Schneider to Van der Vaart to Blind. They're playing some quick football from the kickoff. So, Van Persie here on the ball plays an absolutely fantastic ball to Raphael Van der Vaart. Takes one touch aside. Goods on Van der Vaart has scored in the first five minutes of the match. Netherlands lead Germany 1-0, 3 minutes, I think it's 4 minutes roughly on the clock. It's an absolutely fantastic ball from Robin Van Burst with his right foot. He looks up, sees him, just sort of plays an absolutely perfect ball. For some reason, Philip Lamb wasn't there. Goots had to track back, couldn't track back. A nice easy finish from Raphael van der Vaart and Netherlands lead 1-0. Coming up here, a nice little shot from Sammy Kadira. It's a good shot, good save from Tim Krul, and it's blocked. It's coming up here to the half an hour mark here as Ozil tries to get past Nairo de Jong, gets eventually past him, gives it to Thomas Muller. Muller will he get a strike or gets a shot away. It's a nice, easy save from Tim Krul as it was going into the bottom corner. It's actually a relatively good save from Tim Krul as well. It was going into the bottom corner. If he'd palmed it anywhere else, it would have been an easy tap in for Marco Royce. With that being said, it is a corner kick. 
So of course corner kick duties have changed because no Bastian Schweinsteiger. So Mesut Ozil to take this corner kick on the 30 minute mark more or less. Murillo tries to get his head on it, gets his head on it, hits off the crossbar. Van der Veel maybe get away. Tony Cruz steals it off Van der Veel, gets a shot away and it's deflected into the back of the net. Referee has given it, has given it actually two shards as an own goal. To me personally, it looks like a Tony Cruz goal, but we'll see from the replays if it was going in. But it was an amazing header from Thomas Miller to actually hit the crossbar, put Tom Cruel off completely. Van der Veel tries to get away, can't get away by a midfielder. Tony Cruz steals it, gets a shot away, and as you'll see here, if it was going in, it was not going in, and it's a, it is an own goal for Shars and Netherlands have equalised within half an hour. Netherlands, uh, Germany, sorry, have equalised. So, come up to the 40th minute in the match here as Cruz is on the ball, plays it to Ozil, Ozil with a nice pass out to um, Marcel Schmelzer, crosses it in and it really gets him, Muller with his head in it and it's another good save from Tim Krul. So that being said, Tim Krul sort of showing off that maybe he was the reserve choice for the Netherlands uh, goalkeeper pick, of course, and it is a final. So, it's a bit interesting seeing someone of his calibre actually playing. But coming to the 40th minute here, Ozil of course taking the corner kick as well. He hits it in this time. Can anyone get to it? Can't get to it. Comes back to Messi Ozil. Will he cross it in or will he go for a shot? He tries to get a shot away. Can't get a shot away. And Nerland's clear. So Nerland's keep running through here. As you can see here, Lens on the ball. Will he try and maybe do anything? He tries. He plays it to blind. Hummels is coming across. Hummels with an absolutely fantastic challenge. And the referee is going for a... Foul. It's a bit interesting here. He's given a yellow card. He's also given a yellow card to Mats Hummels of Borussia Dortmund. As to me personally, he looks like he gets the ball 100%. Not really sure how the referee can give a foul there. With that being said, it's a dangerous free kick for Germany to defend and Netherlands to attack with. So Van der Veel takes a free kick, hits it into Lenz, I believe. He takes a shot away, and it's a good save from Manuel Neuer. And personally, for me, it shouldn't, even, it shouldn't have even been a free kick, but it's an absolutely fantastic save from the Bayern Munich goalkeeper. Corner kick to Netherlands. So the corner kick taken by Wesley Schneider here, hits it in, Ozil easily clears that away, comes up to, I believe it's Schars, Schars with a volley, and that is no trouble for anyone really, as Schars volleys it over the bar. So here at half time, it's one all between Netherlands and Germany, we'll see the stats to see if, if any team sort of deserve a lead at half time, maybe Germany just about sort of dominating in possession, more shots as well. With that being said, 1-0 is probably a fair enough result, so far anyway. So, coming to the 60th minute here as Kadira gets it on the ball, gives it to Thomas Muller. Will Muller get a strike? He gets a shot away, it's a really poor shot from Thomas Muller. Looks like it maybe could have been arcing in, maybe could have been hitting off Marco Rice's head, but for some reason didn't get his head in for it, and that goes wide. Coming to the last minutes of the match here, as Van der Vaart on the ball, run past, no, nothing from Tony Cruz. Van, Van Persie plays in Lenz, and Lenz gets taken out completely. By Marcel Schmelzer, he's gone down and it looks like he's injured. Will Marcel Schmelzer get a red card? He gets a deserved red card, straight red card for a goal scoring opportunity. Last man as well, as we see, as you'll see in the replay, of course. But there, physio taking lens off, same physio for every goddamn team. He gets a lot of, he gets a lot of money, really. I mean, he must get a lot of money. He works for every team anyway. But that being said, it was straight through on goal, and it's a deserved red card. Marcel Schmelzer going a little bit mental, maybe not sportsmanship at all, but doesn't really care. Dangerous free kick for Germany here, for, for Netherlands here, as Schneider takes it and it's over the bar and the referee blows for full time, one all after 90 minutes so of course we're going into extra time, with that being said of course Germany will be down to 10 men again going into extra time, of course Schwein Schweinsteiger to get sent off in extra time, with that being said we see here as Podolski comes on and mm, Gutzer is also coming off, Scherler is coming on and Ozil is being substituted for Holger Badstuber. So coming up to the last minutes of the first half of extra time here as Podolski's on the ball, runs past Vlar, gets a shot away, it's a good save from Tim Krul, comes out to Andrea Schurler, Schurler runs past Fur, crosses it in, Podolski with a backwards header, and it goes wide, but at half time, in extra time, it's one it's one all still, but as you can see from the stats, Germany have sort of gone a little bit more attacking, it looks like New Orleans are just sort of holding out for a penalty shootout, of course Germany never lose penalty shootouts, with that being said, in the 110th minute here, um, it's a corner kick to Germany, I believe it's Badstuber actually taking the corner kick, hits it in with his left foot and does it get cleared and De Jong easily clears that, comes out to Robin who really should control it, Mats Hummels here really gets shot away, gets a shot away, it's a great shot, it's a really poor goalkeeper from Krul and it's an easy shot, an easy goal 
and probably the winner from Tony Cruz for Germany. Tony Cruz, of course, coming in for Bastian Schweinsteiger, has sort of maybe lived up to what he needed to be and what he needed to be. Maybe he was just the right man for the right place as it's really poor goalkeeping from Tim Krul. It's a really easy shot to probably save from Tim Krul, to be honest, from Mats Hummels. But with that being said, Tony Cruz was there. Nice, easy, composed finish from Tony Cruz into the back of the net and Germany lead 2-1 in the World Cup final. And it's really just down to poor goalkeeping. And Tony Cruz, of course, scores, I think it's like his third or fourth goal of the World Cup. Look at that. Poor goalkeeper, poor handling. Nice composed finish. 2-1 Germany. It's coming into the last minutes of the match here. Cruz tries to cross it in. Muller can't get his head on it. Kadir, of course, they were just sort of pressuring them into, into that corner. Trying to stop them getting forward here. Vlar and the ball clears it. It does clear, but it doesn't matter. The referee blows for full time. And Germany have won it. They've won the World Cup. Netherlands won, Germany 2 in the final whistle. Of course, Podolski and Sherlock all came on literally with like 15 minutes remaining. But for, no, well, with half an hour remaining, and they're all sort of teasing a bit too much for my liking. But with that being said, there's Shars, of course, he scored the own goal. Nigel de Jong is not happy. All the players are jumping about mental and crazy. Sherlock, Podolski, Cruz, Schmelzer, Neuer, Hummels, and Boatang and whatnot. But a big poor motorcycle there. And of course, Philip Lam will be lifting the trophy in literally a couple of seconds' time from now. Of course, a big massive trophy that it is. Nigel de Jong is on the goalpost. He is disappointed to have lost out here. And as you can see here, Philip Lam lifts the trophy. And Germany are FIFA World Cup winners. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic achievement for Germany, of course. Not won it since. I'm not even sure. And I'm not even going to go into the archives to find out. So with that being said, it's an absolutely great achievement for Germany in general and also for the FIFA World Cup. It was an absolutely great journey to get here. And of course for German to win it and Alexis Thomas Miller scoring goals it sort of shows off the Bundesliga. Well majority of the players are actually from the Bundesliga which also sort of adds to adds to the effect for them. There they've put the they put the trophy on the floor and they're sort of just bobbing around there. So with that being said here are the stats for the final match of course Germany 13 shots, 10 on target, 57% possession even with 10 men and 75 pass completion percentage. It's only only bit where the Netherlands actually beat them in pass percentage completion. Is that right? Yes. Anyway, Tony Cruz, man of the match. He deserves it. He scored the goal, and of course, he was the one who made the own goal. So, with that being said, Thomas Muller scored four goals for Germany. Eto scored six, and for Cameroon, and of course, Van Persie. Good goal. Good good player. Scored six goals for Netherlands, and then in the assist rankings. Schweinsteiger got three, Van Persie got three, so basically I think the MVP for the World Cup most valuable player is Robin Van Persie. So of course here's a little bit of credits which any, everyone sometimes watches, sometimes don't watch, I don't really know, I mean I could easily just quicken this up but with that being said I have one more of these FIFA World Cup things to do which will be with Scotland trying to get through the qualifying stages and then getting into the World Cup but the thing with it is the one of Scotland is whatever happens happens I'm not going to go and like if I lose in like the if I don't even qualify I'm not going to bother putting it up but if I do qualify get past like the knockout stages no get past the group stages get to knockout stages and get knocked out in the first round I'll show all of it because it's a nice little bit of a journey nice little bit of a series before of course E3 and PES 2015 and whatnot all the news and all that sort of stuff coming in so with that being said if you have enjoyed this series you can watch the rest of, of this if you want subscribe to my channel for more and catch you later